This is Robbie. <clears throat> Recently, Robbie has experienced something new in his life, the presence of God's Holy Spirit, and he wants more. And he's been working on Robbie for a while, and uh, he's finally given in. Do you guys know anyone else who's been a little stubborn? <laughs> Probably everybody in the room. But uh, Robbie's decided that he'd like to be baptized and be obedient to the Word of God that says to be baptized. So this is the next step in his faith, and this is his family. And so I'd like for you all to uh, take a moment with me. And let's pray for Robbie, would you? Let's do that. Father, we are uh, grateful for this man. We're grateful, Lord, of all the churches in all the world that you have been so gracious and kind to let us be the church that welcomes him into your family. To be able to be here on this holy time. To witness with our eyes the work of your Holy Spirit in the hearts of a man. Lord, I ask that you would bless this man. Your word tells us that you've given us every spiritual blessing and I commend that to Robbie now that you live inside of him. The same power that raised Christ from the dead lives in him. Help him often to tap into that power. Fight for him, Lord. Protect him from the enemy and all of his plans. I ask that you would just shield him. Lord, help him to remember this day, this moment for the rest of his life. And use him, Lord, to spread the good news that he has received, that eternal life is available through Jesus Christ the Lord. And it's in his name that we pray. Robbie, who is your one and only Lord and Savior? Jesus. Based on that confession, I now bury you with Christ. And like him, you'll be raised to new life because you trusted in the mighty power of God that raised Christ from the dead. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.